What's up YouTube, it's Martin here from Resolution Breakers again and today's video is just more going to be a uh, kind of uh, just me rambling about the ideas and thoughts that I've got about the TCG homemade community and how I think uh, it can really help us out a little and I know today I set a, I did a little video about you know my little huge announcement competition thing whatever and I noticed I put in the description that today would be the finalizer for announcing the results and stuff. I mean, I was going to. I had the whole thing set out. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of many uh, contestants or anything. But that that video will be done very soon because I haven't actually got my camera to be able to record anything. So that's why I'm mostly just recording from my laptop now. But yeah, today's just more going to be a quick little talk with me about my ideas on the homemade TCG community. So a little while ago, I mean, it was a little while ago, but more so just yesterday or two days ago, something like that. Uh, but a little while ago, I had sent uh, my uh, I had sent a private message to two TCG creators themselves that I, about my plans and my ideas. I had recently heard back from them again on one of their videos each. One of them being BK Beyond and the second being uh, TCG News. Um, if you're aware of those channels, I mean, I know m many people be aware of TCG News. He's a great guy and he really, he really, really helps out the homemade TCG community a lot. Which is why I thought co contacting him about my ideas would be a, a very good first step zone. But yeah, the ideas I put for them was, well... I, at, at the moment, I was thinking, why don't we, us, the homemade TCG community, actually create some sort of joint business or company together? I had a whole name planned out for it and everything, and I just thought, well, we could have a, just some huge, massive database of strictly of homemade TCGs and the creators, and, you know, it will be underneath one name. And the name I was thinking of it was going to be called Cards at Home. I even made a little slogan and catchphrase for it which was going to be the cards we make, the cards you play at home. I haven't actually made it into a, a actual professional business or anything yet. I mean, I say yet, that could it could still happen, you know, we could all, if we actually band together and actually think, yeah, that's a great idea, we could, we could make a company out of it and we would just have the the logo the the company's name whatever it'll be called if you ain't you know if you ain't happy with cars at home it'll be found somewhere on our cars with the copyright sing symbol so then at least it protects your cards it protects all of our cards but yeah i was just so if you if you think that was a good idea or not you know drop a little comment down there say oh yeah cars at home woo or whatever you know and my second idea was to make a little convention for us homemade creators so if we got if we band together a few tcg homemade tcg creators and their games uh and showcase them for the big convention kind of thing i don't know what it'll be called and it'll be set on a certain date and you you know public can come along and test out the games play the games and maybe even buy the games right there on on that day it'll be a the first time the cards will ever be out there for you guys to get your hands on i mean as i as i said i spoke to bk beyond and tcg news about it before uh tcg news had actually said the whole convention thing is a good idea but it's just the locality of it where uh, some people may be in different countries and stuff and uh, yeah I, I understand that's going to be a very big problem because it's probably a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of people in the in the states watching some videos that would actually be uh, found in maybe the UK or Germany or or anywhere around the world but I was thinking maybe we could you know if we if we open it up and we actually decide to make the convention we could say what kind of card games and the uh, the creators games that they want to see at the event so we would contact uh, the maker and you'll say hey all these people want to all these people want to play your game at the convention do you want to be a part of it if you do send your stuff over and we'll showcase it for you 
So yeah, I was some sort of convention. So again, if you think either of those two are, are good ideas, drop a little comment down in the comment section thingy my jig jig. It's just my thoughts on where I think the homemade TCG community could take a good a very good turn to. So so thank you very much for listening. I I do apologize if I've been rambling a little bit. I'm not too sure if this is recording very well or how loud I am. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you in another video.